following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials flat. Nasdaq's up five. S&P's are up one. Gold's trading up six dollars and sixty cents at thirteen fifty-five. We have silver up thirteen cents, nineteen dollars and seventy-seven cents. An ounce uh, platinum up eleven bucks at eleven twenty-nine. You get the uh, oil market up ninety-four cents. 4772. That thing is going all over the Pushing place. Pushing right back to $50. It, it, it is, man. And, it, and it's, um, you know, when we finished yesterday, it had pushed higher. And then remember, I was in your office and we said, well, look at this thing. Yeah, 20 because past. at like 11.15, right. it pulled back. Pulled back. 30, pulled right back. 30 cents or yep. so. And that was just a small hiccup at the, it, on the way up. <laughs> exactly. On the way up. Exactly. Uh, bonds. You get the 10-year note uh, up four ticks. The 30-year bond up seven, and good old King Dollar is down uh, 290. Um, you know, volatility's here, man. I mean, I, I think uh, you know after reading those minutes yesterday, it it seems to me that I don't think a quarter point rate rise is going to kill the market anyway. I think you know you get you get a pullback, but every time I keep looking at these, like these numbers come out this morning. And you know, in the den, this you know, there's no doubt that you know, when, when job between jobless numbers and job jobless claims, folks, you know, there's there's always controversy about okay, you know, what are they? But the bottom line is that uh, coming in, so these jobless claims, mm -hmm. this is the lowest it's been in the since the 1970s okay. on a consistent basis. This is not sure, yeah. So so the bottom line is that guess what? If you want a job, you can get one. Um, you know, and it's. The more that, that that comes in, that type of information, you know, when you read the, the minutes, they're saying they want more information. Well, there's your information. And, and inside the minutes yesterday, this is what it had. That the, the and here's, here's just a quick, as you're going over, oh, just against it. staying near historical lows. Right. This is only going back to 2010, okay. but you can see there, jobless claims were above 400,000 probably, and I think that's what that's indicating. And right. Now we're at 262. Right. And so inside the... Uh, the minutes yesterday, the dovish part of it was that uh, the Fed governors felt that they're not even close to the 2% inflation that they're trying to get. Okay. The hawkish part of it was that they're, they, they're saying, yeah, we are at full employment. Okay. You know, and full employment specifically means that, if guess what, if you want to get a job, you can go get a job. You know, that's, that's what it comes down to. And so, um, you know, when, when you look at that, it's like, okay, man, you know, I, you know. Yeah, the article ends with, and that's probably they're probably looking at the odds that we always look that look at. And investors see about a 50-50 chance whether they'll raise them by the end of the year. Yeah, uh, let's see what that we pull that baby up. Yeah, there it is, 47.5 right. percent today. Yeah. You know, and that that'll fluctuate all day long. And he, I mean, yeah, you know, you know yesterday it was a 50 percent. Okay, when right. I, when right, I, I remember the, that. When yeah. I was doing the show, and yeah, exactly, they, they, you know, so hey. We'll see where it shakes out, but hey, totally. It looks like uh, you know, and and the market. It's going to be intriguing here to see uh, market-wise, like we're at a time that okay, what's going to drive it next? And it's almost like there's a slow roll here, you know. Sure. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see, but um, yeah. it's going to take some something to sustain it when it's yes, at highs, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And because it's always you you buy something. Uh, an investment for one thing to make money. Sure. There's a million reasons to sell it. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. You, you've made money. You want a house. You want a car. Right. You want tuition. And you need buying you, for it to continue it, 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 to go up or stay at these highs. It, it, you exactly. need buying. And, exactly. You know, as it goes higher, you'd mean buying it higher, et cetera. Exactly. And, you know, I, I heard uh, yesterday, this is this is pretty funny. The, uh, there's a, there's a, I'm not sure he's an analyst or he's a manager. Uh, money manager on Bloomberg, and they were saying, "Well, what do you think the catalyst is for higher price?" He says, "Well, you know, what the catalyst is is that uh, all these hedge funds that you know haven't been doing too good, that they're going to now you know come in the equity market 
<laughs> so I said, why are they going to do that? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. What, what has happened, folks, in the hedge fund business in the last three years is that they haven't performed as the market has. And more than likely, it's because, you know, when you have, if you have hedges on or whatever, this market has gone one way. Just sure, up. sure. And so people are taking their money out of hedge funds, you know, bigger operators. So you got to remember something. When you take your money out, well, that means that they're taking it out of equities, not putting it in. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, if we go take a look at uh, what's driving the market out here today, uh, you have uh, Walmart as the leader. Walmart came out with their numbers. They made their numbers. They were big numbers, actually. We'll go through that. That's up 1.8% uh, or $1.43. Uh, Boeing is up 8 tenths or a percent. IBM's up 7 tenths and United Health's up 7 uh, tenths. Taken away from it, Caterpillar's down 1 on an eighth. You get Johnson & Johnson off 7 tenths and Verizon is off 6. Uh, inside the NDX 100, uh, NTAP, ooh, look at that, up 14%. Net, net appliance, holy cow, okay. Uh, Illumina is up 5.4%. Uh, you get, uh, let me look at this for a second. Illumina is up 5.4%. It was, so check this out, folks. The, when I first pulled this up at the, at the beginning of the day, right? Sure. Illumina was one of the losers, and it yeah. did. It, it opened, it went down to 163. It was down six bucks, and now it's up nine. And then said, see you later. Holy cow. That's a trip, man. So, <laughs> oh, this, I, look at that. So that's a rumor. So Illumina was the leader on the way down. I had pulled up the NDX before we get on. Sure. And now it's saying that Therma Fisher is rumored to make a $30 billion bid for Illumina. <laughs> it looks like that came out right at about 10 o'clock. Yeah, 9.58. Yeah. Well, it looks like... Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta, hey, you gotta that'll drive, do it. You gotta drive that market higher, baby. That'll do it. That's, that'll do it. Dow right now, let's see, is uh, flat. S&Ps are up... Uh, S&Ps are flat, NASDAQ's up six. We're gonna write back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? 
taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by high concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. In uh, Thursday, we had a busy commercial break there, didn't we? We had a busy commercial break. Thursday's natural gas. I had said to Tommy, I remember someone calling yesterday afternoon. I said, well, I'm bearish natural gas, so find me a bearish one. <laughs> and you know what? Um, look, at, look at this chart as we come across. I mean, if you are bearish. Right. Whoops. Oh, no, we're looking at That's, the NASDAQ. Sorry. Okay. So, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website, at TFNN. Perfect. What a similar chart, right? Look at that thing, man. I mean, check that out just Good. for a second in terms of the NASDAQ 100. Right. Spikes up, spikes down, spikes up. Natural gas. Spikes that up, spikes so down, wild, spikes up. That is so wild, huh? Yeah. It looks exactly the same. That is. That is weird. So, right now, it's trading at 263.3, call it. Right. And so, we went right. in here. These are the 11 a.m. spreads. Yep. And if you're bearish, there's one that, I mean, actually, there's ones that line up kind of nicely all across where, yes. you know, but we want the one with the lower, lowest range. Right. Where 245 is the floor, 265 is the ceiling. So you actually have some value. And what we did is we went in and we sold it. You went in, you sold it. And you were getting at about this value. And you can see that. I think it was 24 bucks, right? Was it? You got it at uh, 40 bucks? No, 24 bucks, I think. 23, right okay. here. Okay. Is where you sold it at. Right. And that's because um, it's the market's even moved a little bit down since you got into it. Okay. But you can see that so even where you're selling it to where it is, there's about nine dollars that you're paying in premium. Yeah. But if you're expecting a huge move, there's a risk reward. That's a nice setup here. All right, so that's where. So you got a few contracts, and we can pull it up and say, yeah, two sixty two seven, which is what we set up here. So you're risking twenty three dollars per contract for one seventy seven profit, and we'll right. see what happens. But that is a nice way to get it up here, coming into the news. Totally. When that sets up totally nicely, if you're going short, right? If you're going short, right? No doubt. So we'll see. And uh, the market out here, uh, let's see. So let's go back to a, the NDX for a second because that, that the aluminum put the, it went from the negative to the positive. That's going to be interesting. So uh, $11, yeah, it's still up 11 bucks. Uh, taken away from the NDX 100, uh, you have uh, net tees down 4.5% or 853. C trip was off 1.2. Uh, JD is off uh, nine tenths. Uh, inside the, what is happening is that. Let's go. Yeah, let's. We'll go take a look at Walmart for a second. Uh, WMT. Look at they're selling Walmart down too. Mm -hmm. Walmart's having a hard time staying over that last high, and they came up with big numbers, man. It's a great looking chart. Just going yeah. for, for what we were that chart. You know, at least going back until January, whenever we were looking at. Right. You got to imagine with the market cap they have and the resources that they're doing everything they can, like, you know, just uh, that purchase they just made of what, Jet? Jet. Uh, Jet.com. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was reading articles about that, that I think they paid about $3 billion, right? Yeah. And they were saying that you could make the realistic argument that they made a $3 billion hire for that one employee, the guy that runs the Jet.com. I know. Yeah. I know. And it's a realistic argument. It really is. Yeah. 
Because him staying on was a sticking point in those negotiations. Right. Um, right. Right. And, you know, I'm sure it's a technology they've already built up and, and all that stuff as well. And, you know, that that's a competition. But realistically, you can it's, see how a few of those people... It's amazing are key but to the success. Because of technology, right. They, right, they have it down pat. It's their, it's do. their backyard. Right. They, whoever that guy is, it's his backyard. It is. You know? I mean, because he, he did it with what, diapers.com to Amazon? He sold whatever the parent company was yes. at diapers.com no. to, and, to and, Amazon for hundreds of millions, I want to say, or something. And Walmart evidently had made a mistake with him before, you know. Okay. That they had the chance. Okay. And they didn't do it. was probably it. on that deal. And yeah, and they didn't do Amazon it. It's like, oh, whoa, we, yeah. you know, and it probably had to do with old school versus new school versus, yeah. you know, guess what? You know, technology, computers, yeah. you know, and seeing since, and since someone had a market inside that structure. Sure. And they're yeah. posting about it in the den. Mark Lohr is his name. Okay. There you go. Pretty. Yeah, and it was diapers.com to uh, Amazon. To, wow. So it looks like Walmart wasn't going to let. Amazon get them again probably that's right. part of it as well right no doubt let's go back over to uh, so uh, let me I pull up I'll no pull point up. of that was the market you know the market's appreciating it right I mean that's yeah. that's their yep that matters and natural gas where am I okay so natural gas how long do we have about this, six minutes this one's gonna be behind a bit yeah but I know Okay. I, you might be looking at a different contract. Too, oh, that's good to know. I am. I am. One second. Are you? That one's yep. October. We'll just make sure. I think I am. It's Let's possible. Let's just make sure. CRB. Well, no, we'd have to go to Natix. You're looking at October. Oh, right oh good. Now. Okay, thank you. Uh, you can. Okay. September. September. There so we go. That's different. Yeah. So, we, we're going to know... Uh, yeah, we're 24 past right now on the dot. And they have everything to the second, which is nice when you're trading these. Right. In terms of, um, you know, literally right next to your position, 35 minutes, 55 seconds left until expiration. And that's important. It is. Because one minute to two minutes left is a big deal sometimes if you have either money, you know, you're in oh, the money. It's or, a huge or, deal. Yeah. yeah. And, folks, uh, you can hit the banner on the top of the side. Uh, they'll bring up, you bring up the account with over $25,000 of paper money into your account, and guess what? You can use that as many times as you want. And Meaning, so, yeah, no, yeah. I was gonna say, and just jumped in, so I know next one that you're short at the NASDAQ, and we'll right. see where that goes as well. Right. That's been quite a little run since. It has, been, right? the, I've been, I've been a, and it was cool about. It's been a volatile morning. Well, and what happens, both. what happens with these contracts, folks, is that I've been in and out of the money twice on the NASDAQ this morning, okay. with, the, with defined risk. Yeah, cool. you know, so it's, it's you know. So you know what's funny is you put it, you put the chart, everything's in context, right? You put it like here, and you're like, wow, that's had some volatility, right? Right, and it has. But then you add, you add, yesterday, right? Phew, that was that was, that was right. quite quite a day. It was quite a day. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no doubt about that. And, and the um, I can the, the, to me this slow roll is just on here right now because it, every I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it seems that the economy is doing well and they're only talking about a quarter point it's like well why not because what they're worried about is that when you come into a recession what do they do they kind right. of go down right. so that's what they're worried about so it's like hold it if look, not now look. when yeah like, right. Well, right exactly right. exactly is this is this really a brave new world that everything's going to go <laughs> negative yeah and like you know, it's like a Cinderella world. I if don't think so. If we faced a crisis again right now, we would be in trouble, and yeah. they'd be forced to try and push them negative. It, yeah, they would. Because and you need to spur more. Lending. That's right. More. Right. And it hasn't done anything. Right. In Japan. Do you know what I mean? Right. So it's like, okay, you know. We'll see. The, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. bring that up. So... Um, Cisco last night, well, you know, it's pretty wild, too, is that the, you, you had the aspect that um, uh, jobless claims came down dramatically. Yes. And this was the first big layoff. Uh, it's going to be the first big yeah. layoff I've seen come through the market in a, in a long time. Cisco's going to lay off 5,000 people. Yeah. That's, is that the, a fifth of their workforce? Is that what I did? Uh, that I believe them? it is. That says 5,500. I think we, we pull this up. Well, 73,000 is no, saying they okay. have. That's as so of July 30th. 5% of their workforce, yeah. maybe. Heard something. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We're going to have those uh, natural gas numbers for you. Dow right now uh, is down three. NASDAQ's up five. S&P's are flat. We're going to bring it back. Mm -hmm. 
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling prowl with us out here. And maybe I just, just better stop trading oil and natural gas. <laughs> Commodities are in a bowl, man. That's what it looks like. Maybe we should start talking about those Everbank products more and some of those commodity CDs they have because... We just went, folks, from uh, so natural gas numbers. We'll get to the numbers, but the, the stockpile, let's see, it was a plus... Not a big, yeah, plus 22 billion cubic feet yeah. versus a median estimate of plus 25 billion cubic feet. Right. We just so went, there's 3 billion less, right? So prices are going up yeah. in theory, but not a huge miss. Not, not especially when oil yesterday, right? You had, you had a difference from a positive to a negative, 3 million barrels there. But with that said, we're about 263 before the news. We're at about 267 after the news. Four pennies up. Right. Which is a big move in natural gas. It is. Yeah. No doubt. Um, well, we ha we have that to eleven o'clock. So. And what, let me just look at it real quick because so what I was going to say is that you know you you start getting value at two sixty five here. Okay. So remember that you know you only had about twenty three dollars in risk per contract. Right. And at two sixty five you start getting value and your break even is two sixty two seven. So I mean right away we've pulled back to two sixty six already from above two sixty seven practically and yeah you have until eleven so we'll see what happens. Yeah. The, um, if we go over to the market for a second, you're going to see uh, this is uh, inside the XAU, the HUI, uh, and this is another indication to me that they, uh, they're sniffing that 
the rates are going to go up a quarter percent. Just put pressure on it because the XAU is up at 110.82 today. Gave it up. We're at 109.45. Uh, and what we did do, yeah, let me look at this, because I, I, I believe that we came down on volume yesterday. Yeah, look at that spike. Okay, so the, the HUI did 26 million on the way down yesterday. And the prior days, you did 16, 16. You hit a high with 18. You hit another high with 15. Um, that's an indication that you're rolling over. Uh, we take a look at the... Did I do the XAU or the HUI then? You want to do XAU now. Thank you. Um, you go to the XAU. Uh, XAU is up 16 cents, and that, that's also rolled. See, that's, you look at the, yeah, it did 45 million yesterday. Prior day, 30. You made a high with 35. Made an additional high with 31. Yeah, the, the, the roll's happening here. And... You know, as I said yesterday in the last couple of days, I think what we have here, which is going to be really weird, is that they all want to roll, meaning the metals, the NASDAQ, and the, the markets. Yeah, and, and, and the NASDAQ, the composite itself, very well may be the one that, you know, brings the rest of them down. Uh, but it looks to me like, you know, the metals are starting it. Now, if that's the case, what we should end up seeing also, though, is we should see the dollar reject that low. See, the dollar, with, with the, there's a divergence here pretty good. Because normally, if the dollar's lower, right, gold should be a lot higher. Well, okay, right. the, And look at that. I mean, the dollar's yeah. low. Yeah. The dollar, you know, the dollar is almost back down to where, look at I mean, it's almost that back down to Brexit. But yet, you know, the golds can't move. So that's kind of just saying to me, hey, you know what, man, this is, this turn is happening, and the equities know it first. Because what had happened on, on the way up from January is that the equities lugged the gold contract up. Okay. You know, the, the, the equities were way ahead of the contract. You know, so, um, yeah, let's go see what uh, natural gas is doing. Back down below 266 now. Yeah, well. As the market continues to climb. Yeah, the market, the market itself, uh, 48.30. Just pull it back for a little reference. This is last night we're coming into. Okay. Like at 11 so o'clock. So you're coming into the highs from last night. Yeah. Like literally right at them. Hey, we might get some action here. Yeah. Our, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let me go over and take a look at the, uh, the GDX because we know that our man... Tom in Plymouth is always trading this thing. <laughs> and so he's like, hey, you know, here you go. So the GDX um, gave it up this morning thus far, too. 30.78, you're at 30.36 right now. Nothing heavy, but bottom line is that with the dollar down so dramatically. Um, Can you take a look at JDST? Yes, JDST. So. I had a low of 402 today. You're at 417. He really scored yesterday, too, man, because when he called, he was selling it right up here. That's yeah, what we're he talking called. to him at some time during that 10 o'clock 442, hour. Right, in, right at that level, because I was, I was watching. Saying, you got to take some money off the table before yeah. that Fed, and look at that. I know. That's the Fed. That's the Fed. That's the minutes. And the dust, uh, well, the JDSC folks went from 446 to 411, you know. It ended up claw clawing its way back to, I, mean, I think. Just to put it, that's, that's a 10% drop. Yeah. Right. Like that. So I'm sure he took some profits. And I right. hope so, and that'd be a oh, good he, deal. I'm, yeah. sure he probably, I'm sure he did. He like he back. said, he had too big of a position not to. Right. Loading up, getting the movie he wanted, and then... And then comes right back in this morning and buys more. I bet. You know. Right? Because <laughs> he wasn't making a Fed Minutes trade, really, there. No. So that's why. No. Why would you open yourself up to such a move right. with such exposure in a triple exposure vehicle? Exactly. When you have profits locked in, right. so you're even more exposed than you'd want to be. Because if you got out of that position, you wouldn't reinitiate it as as exposed. He has all that extra money, profit. Exactly. Yeah. It, that's that's always easier. Yeah. It's always easier. Yeah. 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 No doubt. Yeah. Um, if we go over and we take a look at the uh, let's go to the XLE. So the XLE, uh, as oil uh, the, is right at the highs. Okay. So I was trying to test this. Uh, July 8th level, $70.26, and uh, we'll see whether it can get the juice. The, the, 
The low of the high is 69.20. Uh, your volume is 18 million. You know, so they're 3.2 million right now, which is which is good volume. If we go to the Exxon Mobil, uh, Exxon can't move too much. It's surprising with how well oil's doing. I know, and Chevron. Yeah, down. Yeah. What is happening, and this is where it's going to be a little dangerous. Uh, you know, this this coming season. When I was coming into work this morning, I heard Exxon closed down one of their large plants okay. in Louisiana this morning. Because Louisiana folks is getting just absolutely smoked. They they, they get On floods. The flooding. Yeah. They get floods everywhere. Whew. Yeah. Pretty intense. And um, do you remember do you remember when we were getting out of Katrina? I do, of course. Okay. So check this out, folks. This is pretty when if you haven't gone across Louisiana, it's really flat. I mean oh, sure. Tommy and I we we were Cutting loose out of Katrina and it was quite a ride out. For cause, sure, because we, we were. Yeah, and we went west from New Orleans. We, I forget where exactly we. Oh, we went to Baton Rouge. Remember that? That's that's, right, that's okay. what's flooded out right now. Right. That's right, that's, that's where right. we yes. went. Yeah. And I just remember us looking whether the right or the left. I mean, it was flat the whole yeah, way. With flat, and yeah. you can see the. Uh, they weren't swamps. What are they like? Uh, Marshes going yeah. all the way out, yeah. you know, yeah. but they're right there, so right. I can see when floods, you know, just flat farms right. or, or yeah. just houses with a lot of land, right? Yeah. And you can see that they see the problems, and so uh, yeah, they were getting like 30 inches of rain in yeah. 24 hours or less, even. I just it's yeah. crazy statistics. And that was the storm that I was lucky. I was remember I was I was going somewhere from boat to boat, and I was looking for this. What storm? That was the storm. What storm? When I got when that last weekend when I was coming home. Okay. The, Remember, uh, we were at Crystal River. That's sure. the same storm that was off the Gulf, okay. but it laid right at Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. I got you. And we were so lucky here because it was Nobody bad knows here. what you're talking about with that ride. Oh, well. You gotta fill them in. <laughs> we're gonna be right back and we'll fill you in, folks. <laughs> Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. 
David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Yes, uh, and uh, welcome back, folks. As a as, uh, man, Jay in the den saying the bulls and bears are fighting it out. And the bulls and bears are fighting it out, and the bears are getting a big hand from Dudley uh, right now because Dudley, uh, the Fed governor from New York, uh, is taking questions. Uh, so if, you, if you're in front of a screen wondering why the... Uh, the markets are jumping around, folks. Uh, that could be a good reason. The, exactly. Keep it on your radar. Keep it on, because... Especially, you know, you have a Bloomberg terminal, and I was just kind of amused during the break, right? right? Where it's like, there's somebody sitting there. Every single line he says is a news item itself. Exactly. And these li literally, so people can see, you know, it's like... There's one line, you click on it, right. that's all the news is. That's, but it's remarkable right. how, it, it, and so as a result, there's a constant stream of like news, 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 right. news, news. Um, and it's all just six words he said, but they're gonna continue to come for sure. Right. And when it's just questions, that's when it's a little bit more dicey. It is. Because that's when there could be more volatility than you think, because unplanned words are always the ones that can be unexpected more than the planned ones. And no doubt. Yeah. And because what they what they don't do in the minutes, folks, they don't identify the folks that are speaking of who okay. is saying what. They're what, just what, speaking to the generalities? Or they do. That, okay. what they say that, that was split between the Fed governors, the, okay. the voting governors, that, sure. that's a, that, that, you know, on certain issues, they sure. felt this. On other issues, though, this is it. Sure. You know, so it's like... I, I imagine for the people who are hardcore Fed watchers that... They know. You yeah. can break down who's right. on what side I, of I, what. Yeah. No, there's, there's no doubt. Because not many people, I think, in the Fed try very hard to hide their true feelings when they're on one side versus the other, um, as you can see with Dudley, you know. And you know what's wild is that this is where that this has totally changed over the years. Like... In the 90s, and even, you know, the beginning of the 2000s, meaning 2000, yeah. uh, Greenspan was the only one that was just saying. chairman. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was yeah. younger. I wasn't it, in the market No, much, it really was. You didn't, you, hear. Didn't, you know, yeah. and then when Bernanke came in, um, the Fed governors got, you know, a little more powerful. Or I say powerful in the context. They, they voiced their opinion more. They voiced their opinion more. I mean, you know. if there's no consequences, why why wouldn't that be the natural evolution of right. things? To, right. For people to want to be heard in powerful positions. And right. If they don't. They don't have to be quiet and they disagree. Right. Why wouldn't that, right? Especially as it comes to where you can, I guess, maybe that's a factor of coming to not necessarily internet, but just more news, more more avenues news to get no, I agree. that view out. Versus I'm, like, you know, when there's only three papers and the Times and whatever the old papers are, right? Yes. They interview one guy, the, the, the chairman. Right. But guess what? Now there's news everywhere, they, and they all need they somebody need, to talk to and produce. And just like this, you know? Right. Whoever Scott Landman was, and we looked right. up, I was like, who is the guy who sits there and literally watches every word and prints every story? And, you know, one person just sitting there is going to drive the news on Bloomberg for a while. No doubt. Yeah. And, and what does happen, of course, is that then, then you look at the context, say, okay, is he just setting the market up, saying, hey, guess what, man? You know, we've told you a dozen times that, you know, this is why... You know, and so when it, when they do go up a quarter point, you know, it's like we've told you, you know, that. I'm and by the close. textbook definition, I mean the Fed is supposed to prepare the market. That's their yeah. job. They don't right. want surprises. They, right. you know, the Fed's job is to avoid really volatility. Yeah, they're they're there as like you know to provide stability, make sure it doesn't go up too fast, and make sure it doesn't ever crash again. Right. The last thing they want is to shock the market into a collapse. So they're trying to prepare them, but no one. Maybe he's taking them seriously, right? Or so. Well, so they, they've he, caught they've called Wolf too many times, right? That's, and so, if you know Dudley really thinks that they're going up, it wouldn't be a bad thing for him to really start saying like, exactly. this is why, and you know, right? The market's probably going to need a few shocks ahead of time, right? To to weather that, they, they are. Right? Yeah, well, here, watch. Let's go over. The, and that's what the Fed should do, right? You know, you have to at some point make it real, and so there's there's no easy way to 
for that day to come. That's right. To, to, to say the punch bowl is going to get right. taken away a the, bit. Right. You know. So as he started talking, look at this again. He moved the bonds again. So when we started the program, 30-year bond was at... Uh, yeah, 171, 27. 27, right. Yeah, and went down 12 ticks from and, there. And that's, you know, decent move. Third, right? it's a, that's a big move. In yeah, in 40 minutes. Right. And and what that the key is here, folks, is that it looks to me like it's going to go after his B point. And the, this is what's so weird too. So check this out, folks. Is that most of the time, of course, the the market goes down, bonds are going to go up, right? It just may be that. Because the market's sniffing out that there's going to be a rate increase, that the bonds go down and the market goes down because the market will be going down saying, oh, no, there's really going to be a rate increase. Sure. And that's going to be a change of, of flavor, period. Sure. You know? No, definitely. Yeah. That's a great point, for sure. Yeah. So uh, natural gas at 265. You know, get... and not a substantial move after, no. after getting news. And you can see it's 22 estimate. I think it was 25 was the total. Um, okay. But that's about it. So we'll see where it shakes out. Yeah. But commodities, man, in terms of just oil and, and natural gas, right. both been doing well. I mean, if you just take a look and pull this back, even the volatility, the trades with up to 290, back down to 254. Yeah. And we'll see if we can get some action going back just from the low in like October 11th. You know, it's a. Uh, always remember, folks, uh, every trading day we. Uh, well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we start at 8 o'clock in the morning, go to 5. Tuesday, Thursday, 6 in the morning to seven to 6 at night. 7 in the morning, rather. Yes. To 6 at night. Nico and Paige starting us off. Yeah, and then we got Andy Hecht. I can't sure. wait to talk with Andy uh, later today because there's a big article today in the, uh, let's pull it up right sure. now, in the journal. And what it's about, folks, is, and I used, to tra I used to trade cattle a lot, and it's about the cattle futures. Okay. So... What has happened, there's only one cattle future that is out there right now that's going to be traded. Okay. And what's going on is that the CME, who is, you know, puts these together, evidently there's a large disconnect between what the, what the futures are actually doing and the cash market. Okay. And they... They don't know why. They, they're, was, they're, they're trying to get this down straight, that it, it makes zero sense. So every cattle future, okay... okay is 40 head. It's like uh, okay. 40,000 pounds. Can you go to the pounds. description? Sometimes yeah. they... Yeah, it, it will be 40,000 pounds. There you go. Nice. But that, they, they broke it down. They're saying it's like 40 head. Okay. And, and that's what they probably weigh 1,000 pounds each, right? Yeah, I can see that. Right. A, a big, especially and, one that's ready to go, that's right. fully beefed up. Yeah. And so what has happened is that most of the cash market takes place Friday after 4 o'clock. Okay. And what they're saying is that it's crazy that you can have, do one cash deal for... 40 head of cattle and control of the uh, cattle market. Okay. So what has happened is that the cattle folks didn't mind this. We have, watch this. I'll show you this. LC1. No one minded it when everything was going up. <laughs> okay? Okay. But, but what has happened is that the, the market has crashed and they're flipped out now. So no one minded it in yep. 2013 when it's 118 going all the way up to 171. But and they had that right in the thing. That, but sure. guess what? If 40, you know, you and I say, okay, I'll give up, um, you know, let's say that cattle, it's, it's $1.14 right now, okay? Yep. Um, and so over the weekend we say, okay, you know what, guess what? You're going to sell me 40 uh, head cash for a buck. All of a sudden it's a buck, and all of a sudden Monday morning this thing opens up like, okay, it, the cash market's sure. a buck. Sure. Well, you know. Sure. So they're trying to figure out um, what types of contracts we're going to put. And right now, they, they don't have it. Right now, okay. there's only one contract left, I guess. This one, the December one, and they're saying, okay, we can't figure this out. Guess what? It's stopping. It might, it might stop. Yeah, pretty wild. Predatory monopoly operations. Yeah, totally. Welcome to the world. Control the market, right? Yeah, right. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Stay right there. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 9. You get the NASDAQ up 11. S&Ps are up 2. We get the gold contract up uh, 610. Let's take one more quick look at that natural gas yeah. as we come into it. And it's crept back over that 265 price point. Let me pull it closer and I'll drag it across. We're so far zoomed out. Yeah, so we got that initial spike up to 267. You're back down 265. Got about five minutes until expiration. So you could get a buck or two out of this, you know, if it dipped under. But unfortunately, when the news is not on your side, and that's the bu directional bias that you play, that's what. But it, yeah, and it's defined risk, man. Oh, oh right, like, that's what I'm saying. You know, you only had $23 risk per contract for right. 177 right. in right. profit. So yeah. And if we go over and just look at that UNG just for a second, so that's this is the ETF structure for it. Yeah, see, this is not going anywhere. Interesting. So yeah, it's up nine cents. You've done 2.9 million shares. You're coming into eight million. We'll see what they can do that. We'll see if they can actually even hold uh, 787. Right now you're at 791. It almost looks like it's doing an ABC down actually. Um, if we take a look at the volumes out here, so let's we'll just do this quickly. Uh, 188, which is really light on the NYSE. Oh, I see the NASDAQ still got it. 460, man. The, the, they'll, they'll, they'll be close. Yeah, they'll, it's 11 o'clock already. Yeah. Now, full hour and a half versus just an hour. Right. They're, they're laying out some stock in the NASDAQ. And, uh, you know, we'll see where the rest of this uh, does shake out. Did you watch some of the Olympics last night? I did. You see the women sweep uh, the 100 I did. hurdles? That, that was, was awesome. Cool. Yeah. Right. 
Right. It was a really close finish, but I actually I saw I, I thought she had gotten that third place. I thought they had swept okay. it. It was that close. But yeah, that's and that's the first cool. time in history. Yeah. Isn't that, that all the women have swept that maybe the men have done it before, but I think it was the first time that women have swept yeah. an event. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that there's no doubt that maybe in just the summer or winter, but something like that, yeah. And then, of course, we're going to find out about the swimmers, what happened, right? Yeah, we were That's talking about that. <laughs> the I'm not deal. sure if people have heard, but now yeah. there's stories that I'm reporting, just headlines being shown that um, there's video of Lochte fighting at that gas station somehow. Okay. Oh, man. Whatever that means, wherever it came from, so take it for what it's worth. But, you know, they got back to the Olympic Village at 7 in the morning. They right. said they got had that trouble at four in the morning. Originally, right. they said they got pulled over. Now they said they just were at the gas station when they got accosted. Um, and you know what's so crazy is you know, that... You don't do that kind of stuff when you're that big of a star no. for and, no reason. And, so and the shame is... is that's that, where, what do I say to you? Red flag, right? Yeah. You know, like, that's a red flag, man. There's something going on, and just hopefully it's nothing too nefarious. Um, no, and I... You know, I, I mean, suspect, that's... What, I it, suspect... Something happened. They got in some trouble. Had to make up another line or something. Like, hopefully, it's not too bad. And, that's all. And Rio's got to love it though, because yeah, you know said. it's been. And they should. Like you, that's you know, that's that's you know not right that, that no, they put I out know, that I, he got pulled out and I'm, had a had a gun cocked and put to his forehead. Seriously, that's a startling story to hear. Okay, and, and <laughs> that sick. that will leave people with an impression. And that's not fair. Oh, that's me. That me with an impression. And think if that you know yeah. I mean there and there have been. I saw a video on the other side of that of all these crimes. But they're more like pickpocket, horrible, right. will literally rip your bag off you as you walk past everywhere type crimes. Right. So, I mean, that's bad for sure. But you know what? It's not pulling out a no. handgun and putting it to and somebody's cock forehead. He said he cocked it, too. And put it right to his forehead. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll, well see. That, that's, we'll it, see. If that's the case, that's the end of his He got out of Dodge, too. He got out of Dodge. Out of, he's good, it's, good to get, it's good to get out of Dodge, man. man no doubt. Quite a, quite a story. Oh, my we'll God. We'll see what happens. I'm telling you. Seriously. Media's going to enjoy that one. Yeah, well, it, it's it's it. They've they've kind of stayed away from it for the, about 24 hours now because it's so oh, it's so no, bizarre, I've, right? Uh, they've been talking no. about it yeah. recently. The okay. morning show is more so because last night those two swimmers got pulled off the plane, so that really re reignited everything. Amazing. You stay right there, folks. Man, Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next. Oh, good. It's under 265. Thank you, Jay. I like it. Jam it down there. There you go. Uh, swim lessons, Dave. Myself. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.